Okay, take two, because the first one didn't work. The things that you're going to need if you're going to use just Stampin' Up! items is the Snowman, uh, the Snow Much Snow, Snow Much Fun Snowman set. Um, it's got the, the little snowman or the tall snowman. You can decide how you want to do it. That set's number is 122562. You're going to need embossing powder. Um, if you're going to use the Stampin' Up! versions of the products that I have, because my order ha just hasn't made it yet, you're going to want number 109133 for black. And then from the holiday mini catalog, there's a pewter, and that number is 124114. You're going to need Pacific Point cardstock. I use the 12 by 12 from the uh, from the textured set, number 11350. You're going to need a heat tool, 100005. You're going to need Versamark. Um, that's in the idea book and catalog as well. You're going to need glitter, um, or you can you if you use glitter. You're going to need the crystal effects. You need that anyway. Or you can get the crystal effects and use the dazzling details from the Holiday Mini. And that's 124117. You're going to need sticky strip. That looks like this. You're going to need um, window sheets. That's the clear sheets that we're going to be stamping on. What you do is find out whatever, find whichever stamp set you want to use. I just happen to use some random stamps that I had laying around. Um, from other brands. I'm not quite sure. One of them's Craft Smart. I think I got that for 97 cents somewhere. Um, in one of those discount bin things. And then I found another one and I've got a clear stamp that I used for that. Um, but Stampin' Up! has a bunch of them too. I just didn't get my order in fast enough for those. Anyway, you stamp it with the... Uh, you're going to need the Stays On White um, stamp pad. I'll show that a little bit later stamp it, let it dry, cut it down. You're going to have to cut it down. The window sheet you're going to want to be five and a half by four and a quarter. Then the Pacific Point blue card textured cardstock. Um, you're going to cut that to five and a half by four and three quarters. It's five and a half this way. You want it to eventually be four and uh, a quarter tall. So this half inch here you score across and fold it. That's the basics for this card. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to use your bone folder, fold this down using that score line that you have. Use your bone folder, get some sticky strip on the end. Sometimes it's kind of always and forever losing the ends of tape. Get that, get that onto your cardstock. And we're, all we're doing is creating the base of the card first. Get that done, taken care of and out of the way, and then we can move on to the fun stuff, the stamping. So we got that. Uh, let me trim off the sticky strip just a little bit better on the end. Okay. Knock everything down. That helps. And we're going to remove the backing from the sticky strip get your window sheet lined up into the um, the crease of the score mark and get that sealed down and you've got that taken care of and you can set that to the side for now. Next we're going to get this part of the card done. Um, this piece right here is two and five eighths by two and seven eighths. The first thing we're going to do is get our snowman and if you've got a snow, if you've got a piece that's too big for the um, the cards that you or the acrylic blocks that you have, I don't happen to have one large size that I need. Uh, one thing that you can do is take, if I want to do the big one, to do a card say like this, because I don't have an acrylic block yet that fits in. I just took an old Stampin' Up set. This is a 2002 Stampin' Up set that's got the um, sticker on it and I just line him up however he fits, stick him down real good and then you can stamp him Then you can use it and then you just clean it with your stamp and scrub and peel them off, put them back into your case. So there's a tip for you. Put the Versamark out and you're going to want a scrap piece of paper. Get your Versamark out. Get it all inked up real well. Set it off to the side. 
Don't put it too far away. You're going to need it again here in a minute. Stamp your image. Versamark, so you're not going to be able to see it too well, but maybe you can see a little. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, remember, I don't have my my box hasn't arrived yet, so I'm just using a black that I happen to have laying around. So I'll get that on there. Knock off any extra that you don't want. And blow off any extra if it's still there and it won't go away. Or you can use a paintbrush. Got one right here. You can use a paintbrush to get the extra stuff out. There we go. Set that to the side. Dump the rest in here. You're going to need your scrap piece in a second again, too. Okay. So let me get my paintbrush put back. Okay. So you're going to get your little snowman guy. You're going to get him. Use your heat gun. Put it all up, take a look at it, make sure you didn't miss any spots. If you have, go back over quickly. You don't want to use it too much because you don't want to burn the powder. I mean, there's there's a point after it melts where it burns really easy. So you want to be very careful and not to pass that threshold. Okay, so you've got this part done. And in order to put the silver around the edges, um, this one is another brand, but it's a silver. But uh, Stampin' Up! has a pewter that um, I can't wait to try. I can't wait. So anyway, here's how I did the edges. I just kind of lined up and kind of created a quick little frame all the way around the, the four sides here. I'm not looking for perfection because I just never will get anything done if I'm looking for exact. Okay, you can put your verse mark away now. And you get your powder. Really spread it out. Don't worry about wasting any because you won't because you're going to dump whatever doesn't stick back into your container anyhow. Tap off any excess. Again, you could get out your brush or you could just get in there and move it around with a fingernail or something. There we go. Get this out of the way by putting it back into your container. Spill it all over the place. That's great. Because that, I'm not too sure how exactly that would help me, but that's, there's a difficult way to do something. That's, that's the way I go. There we go. We'll just put this to the side. And not worry about it right now, because I'm not going to play with that right now. So get your embossing done. Try not to get this too close to your fingers. It gets hot. There we go. There, that's done. Now I can get out the, I don't know if you heard me mention it in my last video, but I really, really wish I had my um, my set of Stampin' Up! pencils. They're somewhere here in the house and we just got to find them is all. So, what you do, starting from this, the lightest color you have, 
which happens to be in this case I'm using orange for the nose. Make sure you've got a clean, you know, clean off your uh, blender pen. Then you touch it to your pencil a couple times and use it to color with. Orange is done. Okay, next part is just going to be clean. And we're going to color the snowman's hat using green. And you can hear my boys in the other room playing their game, fighting with each other. It's just fantastic. I'm pretty sure that um, having kids fight in the background is an essential part to um, making any card. Um, and if you, if any Hollywood uh, people are watching, the uh, the camera gal for today's video is my daughter Hannah. So you can send your offers for her her employment uh, to her. She's the one doing the videotaping today. Let's get a couple more of these done and then I'll show you how to do the blue that I did around the edges of the snowman. It wasn't, it's not necessary, but I kind of like the extra oomph that it gives the card. It's a technical term, oomph. So here we go, we're almost done with the red. Now I try to make it darker where the obvious shading is where the obvious shading is. I try to make it a little bit dark there and then um, go ahead and let it fade out uh, towards the lighter areas. I think that they um, were probably trying to tell me something when they did it that way. So I'm going to trust that they know what they're doing. Okay, then I just put a little bit of a line of blue um, beside the shading marks that they have here already. And get out the, make sure my blender pen doesn't have any reds in it because that won't look right at all. Then what I'm going to do here is just scribble a little bit on the blue that I've got. And the blue helps add shading too um, to the snowman's face and everything that you may not have gotten otherwise. There we go. We got kids playing in the uh, kitchen too. That's fantastic. Because uh, I know I can't get after them on camera. Okay. Get a little bit of the uh, black in there. Let's make sure the pen's clean. Use the blender pen to smear it around. Let's see. It kind of has a watercolory effect without having a whole watercolor set out. That's how I like to use it. And if I really want to, I can try to pick up a little bit of this blue here and move it over here. Okay. I'll clean off the blender pan, set that to the side. Drag it off a little bit. Okay, now what we're going to do is find the piece we just finished. And I found this really, really, really cute. Um, everything's fine. This really, really cute um, ribbon somewhere. I just don't remember where. Probably at Michael's or one of those places when I was trying to use off some of the coupons. Um, and I found this too. And if I could remember where I put my snail adhesive, that's what I'd be using right now. So, um, put your ribbon on here. I want it to be a little bit longer on one side so that the um, that the little knot is not centered. I kind of like it um, a little bit off to the side. Some not quite in the center. And get this knot going. manipulate things around here so that you can get the front to show however you want of the uh, ribbon so that when you tie your knot you've got the uh, ribbon twisted in such a way that the um, 
uh, the ribbon is showing on the front and the back. If you want the ribbon to stay still so it doesn't move around, just grab another little snippet of sticky strip, stick that down. Almost done. And I could do this later too, but you would just put it down in here. You just put this down in here, release the backing, uh, and then just so that it would hold. Because I just can't leave it alone. We'll just do that now. And that'll hold the knot still. So it doesn't slide around a little on the front. Okay. So now we're going to trim our ribbon however we want it done. Okay. Get your snowman. Get whatever adhesive you want to use to get it held down. I'm going to use quite a bit because, because I can. Get that guy on there. And part of the reason why I'm putting it on this side and not trying it out on another side is first of all the way he's facing, but second of all, I've got this, this snowflake here I'm not very happy with. So I'm just going to cover it up. There we go. Get him on there. There. And um, you can use dazzling details. Uh, is it dazzling details? No, crystal effects. I've got this Ranger product. Um, I don't know how long I've had it, it's, but it's a very similar product. And as soon as my box gets here, I can. Uh, but I shouldn't be impatient because I it's Sunday and I ordered it Friday, so um, it'll be here very shortly. I'm just not patient enough to wait for it to get here to uh, do my cards. And if I'd planned ahead, I would have got it in the last shipment I got instead. So that's not. That's just my poor planning. So. Anyway, get that. So I did it to his nose and his buttons and his boots. Let me. And then I used um, the last bottle of. Da of um, uh, crystal effects that I had, I dumped some of that into this bottle and dumped in um, a little bit of the stamping glitter called um, crystal. I don't remember what it was, but its number is 102023. So and it kind of has an iridescent look to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to highlight some of the areas on the snowman and the snowball. Uh, let's see, we'll put it here on the end of his thing, too. So, so there we go, because no card is complete without fighting in, in the other room. So I'll just detail him a little bit. It'll dry, and all you'll see is the iridescent... Hey, hey yeah. Iridescent uh, glitter. And then I add some here and there around the card as well, just to give it a little bit extra and we're almost done. All we got to do after I finish this is we got to give the um, uh, sent the inside it sentiment and then we're done. So here we go. This so here we go. There we are. That gives... here I'll show you with the one that's finished. Here. It gives a little bit of glittery look here. You can kind of see it on the side of the snowman. His nose is all nice and shiny, and his boots are nice and shiny. I don't know if you can see that. Um, the uh, sentiment inside, I used an older set from Stampin' Up! This is from 1997. I stamped it with the Stazon Opaque. And then I used a pen I found somewhere. I'm not quite sure. Uh, it was a white pen. And instead, this time, I'm just going to use the silver pen I found. Again, if you want information about the camera angles and the camera work, Hollywood should be calling me any day now. So, okay. Here we go. And I try to make sure that it's centered under here so that you don't see it until you open the card up. There we go. There it is. Cover your stays on pretty quickly because the, uh, the white tends to... Uh, 
dry out really, really, really fast, and I'm not quite sure why. So, because I'm rushing through, I didn't pay attention to how well I inked up the uh, the uh, stamp, but make sure that you're inking up the stamp very well. And 